Hello, uh, this is Jennifer Price, the superintendent of the North Andover Public Schools. And for this segment of the journal, we're going to talk about our new exciting math program that we have been implementing this year, uh, K through 6. I'm here with Carol Arco, our uh, math and science coordinator for the North Andover Public Schools. So, Kara, can you talk a little bit about what Eureka is, what it uh, is focused on, and uh, how we might have chosen it? Sure. So Eureka is um, a K-12 program. We chose to implement it in K-5 and added on sixth grade as well. So all of our students across the district um, and our teachers are using the new program to implement the, um, to access the Massachusetts math standards. So the standards are there for us and this allows us to really dive into the content better um, than our previous uh, materials that were outdated and it gets at the rigor, so there's some really challenging problems. It, they have applied math problems um, every day. It gets at some fluency, so students are really understanding the relationship between numbers and getting at the math facts, but in some, some creative ways. Um, they're using models, so number bonds and tape diagrams and different ways to really visualize what math is and make sense of numbers. So when I'm in classrooms and watching kids do this math, I'm seeing a lot of manipulatives, I'm seeing a lot of um, kind of real world problems, I'm seeing kids counting differently. So can you explain to me the counting differently? Because mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm seeing a lot of fun stuff happening in our classrooms. Yes. So they start with happy counting, so they, they a lot of the progressions in, are introduced in kindergarten and just build each year adding on looking at counting of numbers you know 1 through 10 using their fingers so that they are thinking about the number line that we're not just counting kind of haphazardly that we progress from 1 through 10 so kind of getting used to counting across their fingers instead of just you know holding up 1 2 3 um, and it's so going it's a to the other hand to going to the other hand ah. and, um, thinking about the number line as the so they'll start relating that as they get into grade one and grade two. Um, my first grader was has loves to flash numbers at me and see if I I can figure out what those numbers are really quick. Her hands are tiny; it's a little hard. So the teachers have a better job of it. Um, and really, they're you know some of the counting techniques that they're doing in K one and two. Then they start doing it with fractions and decimals as they get up to higher grades. So a lot of the strategies that they're learning. Um, in the younger years, they'll see and they'll progress and add on some new content, some more challenging content, but some of those strategies will continue with them. So they're really being able to approach these, like you mentioned, the application problems. So when I talk to teachers, they also are saying the kids seem to uh, generate or learn a better number sense, so they really understand numbers. So rather than just memorize facts, which I know many kids are still doing, kids are starting to really understand what two times three really means, mm -hmm. not just that how I learned it, maybe how you mm -hmm. learned it, two times three is six. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They're using things like the array model. We were with some fifth grade teachers the other day and we said, you know, this is a new way. It's not how it's been taught. It's not the way they've been thinking about it. So using an area, um, areas and arrays, so an area where it's a, a square and they're breaking it into different segments to show those parts when they get to multiplication and even fractions, um, the parts and the holes, um, they really, as they're going through each different part, they're explaining why. Why is that answer the answer? And not just, like you said, spitting back that fact and memorization. It's really getting at the why and showing it through drawings and also you know, our typical algorithm and, and what we tend to be used to. Um, but they're, they're constantly asking why, how do you know that? There's a lot of embedded math talk, so students are talking to each other and explaining what their reasoning is and how they got to a solution. It makes a lot of sense in a world that's ever changing to be able to really understand the why, I think is really critical. Last thing is uh, we have a math coach, so we're not just asking teachers to do this all on their own. We actually have somebody who's in classrooms, mm -hmm. modeling, demonstrating, supporting our mm -hmm. teachers. Can you talk just mm -hmm. a second about that? Yeah, absolutely. I keep joking that it's nice that it's not just me, that I'm not talking to myself. Um, I have a partner in crime who is fantastic and has experienced the district she came from. They've been using Eureka for the last four years, so she has some knowledge base and she's also um, very knowledgeable in the math standards as well. So it's not just the program and the resource that we're using, but really that understanding of what, what is the expectation the state has put forth for us um, and for our students. So she has been collaborating nonstop with teachers. We've been um, putting together professional development, so on the early release days, working with teachers last um, session. Um, we Teachers were, were 
together by grade level, sharing the successes. You could see the comfort level from, you know, even a month ago, teachers are getting more familiar and feeling more comfortable and sharing great ideas of how they're using some of those manipulatives and the programs. Um, and our math coach, Val Dryden, has also been meeting with teachers in the morning time, that collaborative time in the morning, um, and has been doing some planning sessions with teachers to look forward to what the next month or weeks have been. So for those of you out uh, in North Andover, yes, we are using a new math program. If you see kids counting in different ways, please know that's part of what we're doing um, as we really treat, try really hard to make sure that our students understand mathematical concepts uh, as so that they can be prepared for what lies beyond uh, this North Andover Public Schools. Thanks and uh, have a good one.